But the best thing about it is the combustion system. It's got every safety system known to man. So I am a gas engineer. I was trained at Pilkerton Glass in the 1980s, but I've worked with furnaces all my life. I built huge one-ton tank furnaces, but this one I'm most proud of. The reason I'm proud of it, if you get a new furnace now, any furnace, gas or electricity, the trouble is when you get a fluctuation in electricity, it goes off and then you've got a problem um, because your furnace is going down and not only will you ruin the pot, but you might damage the furnace. With this one, I've actually got it on a system where if I just pretend that there's a fluctuation, let's do that. And so there's a fluctuation there. That's enough to knock a furnace off. Um, the furnace itself um, has been designed with a capacity. And I've worked out what the capacity is. And the fan, as you can hear, has just come on. So there's air already because it's wired in to be on all the time. So there's a timer on at the moment. And that timer is depending on how much time it takes for the air to come in and drive all the gas out through the flue. Times three. So three. <laughs> So, after three times that time, we know there's no gas present. So this should automatically restart. Now, I'm kind of talking uh, live. I'm not going to cut this. I'm not going to edit it or anything like that. I just want to be uh, quite honest about it, that it lights itself. And there it is, lit and happy. 